Hello and welcome back to Jesus Outdoors Gaming. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get Minecraft Pocket Edition custom maps. You need, first off, I'm doing it um, the way you need to be jailbroken. And first I want to show you a custom map that I've already downloaded. And yeah, so I'm going to be re-downloading the same one. So I'm just going to delete it. Okay, so, first off, you're going to want to close your Minecraft Pocket Edition. Then, you're going to need to make sure that you are, of course, jailbroken, which will give you Cydia. Then, with Cydia, you're going to need iFile. You can either just search that normally and pay about $5-ish to, um, to... Download it, or you can download another source and get it that way. Then you're going to need Downloads Lite. Well, any Downloads app, which you can just search in the normal app store. And that's how you get that. Um, sorry if you had to view that view of this part sideways. Eh, I'll probably fix all that in editing, but it might look a little small. Because that's just the way it is. Wait, I have to check something in iFi really quick. Actually, I can do that later. Okay, it did delete it. I just checked it without... Oh, close that. And the reason why I'm doing my own tutorial is because I was watching other tutorials and they weren't being very helpful because I think there's a new version of iFile and I was getting confused on a few things. But this shows it. Like, it says... to change it to mobile if it's not working and I was trying to change it to mobile but it wasn't working so first off you're gonna want to go into downloader or downloads light and then find a map that you want like this one hamster escape part one is the one I'm downloading so you just search into Google um, Minecraft pocket edition ported maps or whatever just Minecraft pocket edition maps scroll down Download Media Fire. Then click Download. Download. Done, because this is just asking you what you want to save it as. Then go to Downloads. And then I have I already downloaded it earlier. And so it's there. Close it. Go into iFile. Well, you don't need to close it, actually. But I'm going to close it because now you want to go all the way back. To here. And then go, wait. So here, go to var. Then go to wait mobile applications and then right here if it's your first time and you haven't seen any other tutorials then you'll then you won't know that you have to go into settings right here um, file manager and then turn applications names right here on. Because otherwise it'll just be a bunch of, like, numbers. And when you turn it on, it changes to the names of your app. So now you're going to want to... Ooh, I passed it. It's in alphabetical order. And then go to Downloads. Or whatever you used. Um, documents. I already still have it from earlier. And then... Oop, cancel. What? I, I'm trying... Delete. There we go. And you're going to get this zip file. And what you want to do with this zip file is tap on it and then click unarchive for, yeah. Then click done. Then tap edit. Tap on the new file it just made. And then click the little clipboard in the bottom right hand corner. Click copy slash link. Click done. Back. Back. Now you're back into applications. Just scroll down until you find Minecraft Pocket Edition, then go to Documents, Games, 
com.mojang, Minecraft Worlds, and then you want to do edit, um, clipboard, paste. Now this is the part I kept getting hung up on, because on the, I think it was probably the old version of iFile, where there used to be a blue arrow next to the names, and that's how you would change what I'm about to change, but for this you need to click on the little I, and then scroll down, and where it says owner, tap on it, and then change it to mobile. If you don't change it to mobile, and then click done, then it will, uh, um, what's it called, hmm, oh yeah, it will just bring you to a random spot in a Minecraft world, and it won't be your custom map, and then go into the file that I just had you change, um, from root to mobile, and do it for all of the files inside. I'm not 100% sure if all this is necessary, um, some of it is, because otherwise it won't crash, and if it already says mobile, then don't worry, just, you're done, pretty much, as you'll see. There's a lot of things, sorry. Oh, I already did that one. Player debt. And, this is the final one, right? I think so. Done. I think I changed all of them to mobile, I definitely changed the whole file to mobile, and you should be ready to go launch your custom app, and I will be doing a let's play of this map, if it's good, I haven't actually tried it that much, and then it'll probably just be named survival, and it'll probably be at the bottom of your list, and then here we go, we have a downloaded Minecraft Pocket Edition map. That's current. Um, zero version zero point eight point one alpha. If that helps, please do leave a like or subscribe. And yeah, I'll probably be doing a let's play on this map. Thanks for watching. Bye.